Um, I, I've been asked before to, to write stories about my life, and uh, I, I thought I would take this stuff to the grave. But in the last couple of years, things have changed. And and with the ideal of, of Mrs. Clinton becoming President of the United States, after what I observed um, the eight years that I worked with them, um, it, it scares me. And I want the people, I want Americans to know what the real Mrs. Clinton is like. The most important thing about my book is if you read it, do your education. If you're 18 or older, register to vote. Vote your conscience. You know, but but I think it's important that people know what the truth is. Gary, and, you know, I'm sure. Every, go ahead, sir. Oh, sorry about that, Gary. Gary, what That's is she right. like? What is she like? You were up close and personal with Hillary Clinton. Sure, Describe sure. her. Sure. When, when they first got elected, she was kind of pleasant and everything was fine. And then shortly after. Um, President Clinton became president, and the, the first issue they had with whatever legislation they were trying to pass, and it failed. After that, she became very nasty, and basically she started acting like we thought she would act to start with, because we had heard all these rumors from Arkansas. And, you know, everybody, when they first got elected, everybody was like, oh, you can't believe all that. It's just tabloid. Everything that we heard, these rumors, came true as we worked with them more and more. And, and you saw the type of person that she is. She's, she's, she's very hostile. She doesn't seem to like the military. She doesn't seem to like law enforcement. And she seems, to, in my opinion, based on what I saw, she seems to have an issue with men. And, um, uh, Gary, one of those so men. That, that was my experience. One of those men, uh, obviously, is her husband. Tell us about the, t- the black eye. So one morning, um, I came into work, um, to take my post as a Secret Service Uniform Division officer. And I was talking to one of my friends who uh, had been in the mansion, um, Underneath their living quarters that night, and um, the, you know the, everybody was talking about the, the Clintons had a, a big fight, big argument, and during that fight, and I know it sounds like when you tell the story, people think, oh, you're eavesdropping. It's an old building, and there's elevator shafts and stairwells, and, and when people fight that loud, it goes all over the building. And sometime during this argument, they heard a crash. So when it was investigated, they found a, this. Um, it was it had been reported by other people as a lamp, but it was actually a blue vase because I saw it. Because after I heard the story, I walked down to the curator's office, which was on the ground floor of the White House. And uh, I looked in there, and sure enough, the box was in there, a small cardboard box with a, a blue, mostly blue vase with a little bit of white on it. And um, so, you know, based on our experiences, you know, that's what happened. Somehow the, the vase got broken, whether she threw it, whether it got knocked off, but it got broken during an argument. So when, then, when you hear the, vo- the, the vase, does somebody burst in and see if the president's okay? No, no, not right away. They didn't. Um, you know, I wasn't there, and and you know the, the agents. You have a certain protocols, and and the truth is, it wasn't the first time that that had happened. And uh, so, I, I don't want to say it's routine. That wouldn't be fair, but it wasn't the first time that they had been heard fighting like that. So, um, the next time I saw the president over at the Oval Office, he had a black mark, like a black eye under his eye, and you could see they were trying to conceal it with hmm. makeup. And I said to the president's assistant, I said, um, what's that mark under his eye? And, and she's, one assistant said, oh, it's, um, he's allergic to coffee. And I kind of <laughs> laughed. I'm like, he's allergic to coffee under one eye? And I turned to the president's secretary, Betty Curry, and I said, you know, I'm allergic to the back of somebody's hand. And then uh, I walked off and, um, um, you know, I went outside. I took my post and I was talking to the agent. And, you know, we were, we started out as a joke. And I'm like, God, what would we do if, um, you know, she ever came, what do we do if she comes to the West Wing and he's in there with, you know, an intern? And we knew this was happening already. You know, um, he's having affairs and sometimes having them in the, in the Oval Office or the dining, the study area. And, uh, you know, what are we going to do? Do we, do we not let her in? Do we warn him before he comes? You know, it was like at the point where it was so bizarre. It was like you were passing through another time, you know, another time or something. It was crazy because, you know, you're there to protect them, but now you have to worry about, you know, possibly a domestic violence thing.